Brothers and sisters in Maryland, how you doing? It's Brother Wisdom here. Uh, I told you I was going to start on the cosmic laws. Um, when this is part of the cosmic knowledge, you know, cosmic knowledge, cosmic strength, cosmic wisdom. Um, the laws of the cosmos are plain and simple. Uh, uh, there are 10 laws that governs the entire cosmos. And pretty much it covers everything. This is where these cockatoids got the uh, 10 commandments from. But they didn't want you to know that there were 10 laws that govern the cosmos. So they used 10 commandments in this Bible that they created to keep you away from becoming who you are. So I'll be doing these in sections of two, you know, two, four, six, eight, ten. All right. Which is uh, that be the number five, which is a symbol of balance. All right. Uh, I'm going into it. This um, number one, which says that. Each species of a planetary body must remain within the nature and balance of their home in order to maintain the peace and balance uh, with the nature of their planet. All right, so this is pretty much simple, simple uh, cut. It's, it's uh, cut close and simple. Basically, we must, must remain in the nature of our planet and within the peace of our planet. All right, that's your meditation. Uh, that's the music that we listen to, the dancing, the rituals, um, the incense that we uh, use. That's also the um, um, eating that which is of nature because we are created by nature. That's why we're not supposed to eat flesh, even though flesh is created by nature. And these carcassoids tell us that... Um, if you eat this cow, which a cow is a hybrid, a cow is not even uh, uh, indigenous to this planet. But it say if you eat this cow, which eats protein, then you'll get the protein from the from what the cow eats. But you got to understand that protein is energy. Okay, protein is energy. Energy is spirit. So it is impossible that you gain the spirit of nature through eating flesh that some other being ate. Basically, that cow has already used up that energy. Basically, when that cow was being slaughtered, all that protein that was in the cow, which is the energy, was had all dissipated at the point of fear when that cow was getting slaughtered. So where's the protein? Where's the energy? There's no energy. There's no energy within the carcass of uh, a, a, a being or a beast that once lived there is no energy whatsoever so um, we must see that we we must remain in the in the balance and the nature of our planet this is the only way that we're going to actually um, uh, rise and ascend to the the next level of, uh, of, of of consciousness okay so let's see we go on to number two number two is all species allowed to visit any planet within the cosmos but they must obey the natural laws of that planet all right you cannot go even when you astral project when you astral project to another planet even though it may be in our universe it may be brothers and sisters on that planet but you got to obey the natural laws of that planet you know we're all over the we are all over this universe. We're all over the galaxy, but each of us has got different laws, different different laws of nature. Even though the laws of nature are within one uh, for all our planets, but there may be something different with with another one. So you can't go to another planet and think that you're gonna enact your laws. You must respect the laws of of, of that planet. So if you ever notice that when you are astral projecting to another planet have you ever noticed that your spirit automatically follows those laws on those other planets see it, 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 it kind of goes in goes hand in hand I mean that, that's the way it's got to be so you know each species uh, uh, you must remain within the balance of nature of the planet where you are but when you go to another planet you have to respect their laws the nature the laws of nature all right, so um, these are the first two of the cosmic laws. If I did, you know, a whole session of it, it would be like 30 minutes. And, you know, uh, I need you guys to uh, digest 
uh, every two uh, two laws at a time. All right. So, um, each species, part one, law number one. Um, each species of a planetary body must remain within the nature and balance of their home in order to maintain the peace and balance of uh, uh, and, and the nature of their planet. And number two, we can visit any planet we want to visit, you know, in the cosmos. But you got to respect the nature, the, the laws of nature on each of, on each of those planets. You know, like I said, you can't go to another planet and act out your laws that you do here. You can't go to another planet and if that planet doesn't do incense, that planet doesn't do meditation the way we do it, then you can't do that because now you're going to offset the balance of that planet. It's all about standing within the balance of each planetary uh, uh, body. All right, brothers and sisters, this is uh, the Cosmic Laws Part 1. Part 2, Part 1, uh, which is Cosmic Laws 1 and 2. Um, and I'll be posting uh, very soon Cosmic Laws Part 3 and 4. Uh, any questions, let's post up on here. But uh, these Cosmic Laws are pretty much uh, clear and concise. I mean, you they're not hard to understand at all. All right, I'll power to the people of Melanin.